is part two on how to create the wings for the spaceship. We are going to be creating something that looks like this. It's hard to tell, but there are actually eight wings in total. And the instructions that we have uh, are a little different than what our spaceship size is. So you might not really need to follow the instructions here, but more so follow what I'm doing. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to do step one where we place a sphere on the work plane and we scale it to two millimeters on the z-axis. And if you remember from our previous lessons, the x and y axis are here on the work plane, x and y, and then the z axis is the three-dimensional plane, so going up this way. So to scale it down from two millimeters, I'm going to select this square here and pull it down until it says 2.00. So you should have sort of a, oops, I think that might have been three. There we go. You should have sort of a penny or a pancake shape. And then before you get started, make sure that your spaceship is sort of pointed forward um, and is perpendicular to the work plane. So if your spaceship right now is kind of at an angle like that, to make it a little bit easier on yourself, point it so that the door is facing forward. Next it says to scale the sphere on the y-axis 40 millimeters. Now 40 millimeters is way too big for our spaceship. So just as an example, you can see that this is almost the full size of the spaceship. And here you can see that theirs is smaller. And also at some point their door has changed. So I'm not sure what's up with Tinkercad's instructions, but we're gonna do this a little bit smaller. So after you rotate it up 90 degrees, and I can show that one more time, so you're going to select this one that's on the side and you're going to rotate it up 90 degrees so it's pointing upwards. And I'm going to resize it to be about 30. And then I'm also going to just make it a little bit thinner as well. And it's a little hard to find those boxes when you're working with objects this small, so you might have to zoom in a little so you can see them. And I'm gonna do about 17, so I have 30 by 17. Next, I'm going to use the triangle to pick this up and put it in the body of the spaceship. And you might have to play around with this until you figure out the correct location. So something about right there. Now we're going to end up putting a wing here and also a wing here. So we don't want it directly in the middle. We want it kind of closer to the front. And then we need to make these so that it is pointed outwards. So I'm going to select the rotate tool again up here and I'm going to drag it to about 22 degrees like this and if you need to here you can adjust okay so it should look something like this next we need to rotate it so that it's not perpendicular to the spaceship so we need to rotate it so it's coming out this way so a little, you might have to get a little bit closer and zoom in and take this rotate tool and also rotate it out about 22 degrees. So if you were to look at this from the top, it should look something like this, where it's coming in at an angle and it shouldn't be sticking out too far. Now we have to make three more wings. So instead of doing this three more times, we can make it easier on ourselves by copying and pasting it three more times. So I'm going to copy, and then I'm going to hit the paste button three more times. 
And I'm going to drag these to the general area that I need them. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of near where I want them. Okay, so as you can see, they're all pointing in the left direction, going this way. And we need the ones here on the left side to be going the opposite direction, towards the right. So we're going to use something called the mirroring tool. I'm going to select both of these by holding down the shift key and selecting both. And then I'm going to go up here next to the group and the align functions. We have the mirror button, or you can press M on your keyboard. And then I'm going to select one of these. So these will tell you which direction they will rotate in. We want to go back this way. So I'm going to select this arrow on the ground here. Now I can put these in where I need them. And I find it's helpful to go up from the top and see if they're lined up. It's easier to see it that way. Now, these ones in the back are also facing forward, so we need to do another reflecting or mirroring. So I'm going to select both of these, holding the shift key down as I select, and then I'm going to choose the mirror tool again. Now, last time we used this one, but this time we're going to use this arrow direction. And you can see the orange suggestion. That tells you what's going to happen when you click on it. So I'm going to click that. And now you can see I have sort of this like X shape, and this is what you're looking for. And now I can kind of space these out if I want to a little more. And if you want to make sure this is lined up perfectly, you can align these two. And we're not selecting the middle, we're selecting the top one right here in the corner. And then you can do the same for these. And then you can also line these up. You can tell that this one is out a little more. It's sticking out a little more, so I can select these and align them. Select these and align them. Now everything is nice and even, and then you should have something that looks like this when you spin around. Okay? The last part is the set of wings on the top. So we can simply copy and paste one of these and shrink it. Now, the thing is, is that when you shrink these, when an object is at an angle and then you shrink it, it will also change the angle slightly. So you can watch as I sh make this shorter, you can see the angle becomes more drastic. It almost becomes horizontal. And as I stretch it up this way, it almost becomes vertical. So just be aware of that you might end up having to do a little bit of rotating again. So I'm actually going to hold the shift key and constrain it that way so I don't lose my angle. And right now I have it at about 3 by 8. But you can do whatever size works best for you. Okay, so again, this has to be a little bit smaller. try that. And I might decrease the height just a little bit. If you're getting it stuck in certain spots, that's because you're on snap grid. So you can turn your snap grid off if you need more fluid um, or more flexible movement. So I'm just going to pick that up a little. Okay. I'm actually going to ungroup this a little bit and I'm going to just give myself a little more space. Sometimes you have to ungroup more than once to get what it is that you're looking for. So now I'm going to group these again. And I lost some of my color, which is fine. Oh, 
Okay. So I'm going to pick this up a little bit. Once you've got the small wing in the right spot and it's lined up, you can again do the same process and copy and paste three times. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I did last time. Whoops, those are not grouped together. Okay. So I'm going to reflect these again, going in that direction, and then I'm also, oops. I'm going to take the back ones and I'm going to reflect those going backwards. And now I'm just going to align them. And you can also use your wings below as a guide or a reference to where they need to be. And I'm just going to align these now. That might have been too much. I'm going to do this from looking at the top. Okay, and this is what you should have when you're done. Eight wings on the top and bottom total. And that's it.